Well, grace and peace to you. I want to do a follow-up announcement to the one that was made this past Sunday. But before I do that, I want to reiterate something that is very apparent here in this pandemic. And that is that God is on the move. God is active among us in so many different ways. In, in thinking about our four statements, worshiping God, bringing people to faith, conforming to the image of Christ, caring for others in need, let me assure you, all these things are and have been taking place here at Brentwood Oaks. We have joined in with God's mission as a church in feeding the hungry here in Austin. We've partnered up with the missionaries that we are in contact with, that we are partners in the gospel with, uh, supplying them with what they need. We've also expanded our mission opportunities throughout the world and even here in Austin, Texas. There have been many Bible studies that have taken place between our members and, and people in Brazil, searchers in Brazil who are seeking the good news. And also, God has brought to us many different people of, of many different backgrounds, people who have been baptized, people who have placed membership with us, and we look forward to joining in with them in trying to carry out the mission that God has set before us. And not to mention all the countless acts of love and service done between brothers and sisters in Christ here among us, among this church family. Things that will never be brought out into the open, but done in secret. Well, we're looking ahead to so many different things, and none of us would wish these circumstances upon us. But at the same time, it's exciting to walk by faith and not by sight. Right now, as a family... Uh, we are reading the book of Acts in our home on a daily basis, and it's just amazing to see this little group of people, as, as Ron Bergeron is teaching us on Sunday mornings, these little group of people who are, are following God's lead. The Spirit is active among them and doing amazing things. And that same Spirit that was in the early church is among us and dwelling us today here at Brentwood Oaks. And so we, we're trying to keep up with where God is is taking us as a church. Well, on October the 11th, we see a, a big stepping stone to moving us back to assembly. Now, I'm not talking about that assembly that is to come uh, when we are back together again as we were before the pandemic. That is off in the distant future. But we do see an opportunity before us in the next couple of weeks uh, to remove some barriers for those who feel uncomfortable at this point, but are wanting to, to worship with brothers and sisters in Christ. So beginning October the 11th, we're going to create an additional space, an additional worship area in our Family Life Center. And that will be a live stream of what's taking place in the auditorium. And we, as mentioned Sunday, there are different views of mask wearing. And so what we plan to do is alternate practices of mass wearing between the auditorium and the Family Life Center. So on October the 11th, we will wear masks at all times in the auditorium, even when we are sitting in the pews. But in the Family Life Center, in the, in the live stream, you will be able to take your mask off once you are seated in your seat. And then we will alternate those practices the following week and continue to alternate uh, for the weeks to come. Uh, be on the lookout for a fresh RSVP that will help us in our planning. But also, I want to alert you to some things that are happening in our youth group and also in the children's ministry. And I want to alert you to some messages that are, that are on their way. Uh, James and Jackie are going to speak to us in the next few weeks. And those of you who have uh, children in the children's ministry or teenagers in the youth ministry, you know that there is a lot that's happening that God is, is doing through James and Jackie, and not only keeping the, the kids connected, but also, uh, well, conforming them to the image of Christ. They are growing, they are maturing, and they are digging into the Word of God. So be on the lookout for those upcoming messages. We really can look at this pandemic, at our current circumstances, from two different perspectives. These are our challenges, or they are opportunities. And I hope that we will choose the latter perspective. 
we have the opportunities before us to love one another, to, to exercise a kind of flexibility with one another, to consider others more significant than ourselves. We have been blessed here at Brentwood Oaks beyond our imaginations with peace, with unity, with love, and we look forward to seeing what God has in store for us as a congregation. So with that in mind, in closing, I want to read Paul's words to the people of Thessalonica. We give thanks to God always for all of you, constantly mentioning you in our prayers, remembering before God our Father your work of faith, your labor of love, and steadfastness of hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. What an exciting time to walk by faith and not by sight and see where God takes us as a church. Press on, brothers and sisters in Christ. Grace and peace.